Hello, welcome to the video on solving multi-step equations. This will be a lesson on this topic and let's take a look at our objectives here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and define multi-step equations and then we're actually going to learn the process to solve multi-step equations. Okay, so multi-step equations, what are they? Well, it's basically what the name is applying or equations that are going to require multiple steps. So here's an example of one right here to the far right. Now, to, to actually solve a multi-step equation, it's actually kind of a series of one and two step equations. So the key to solving these things is already to have mastered one and two step equations. Okay, and at this point, you should have already have uh, done that. So let's take a look at these two problems here. The first is a one step, and then the second equation is a two step. So this is a good chance for you to review and just to kind of check your understanding whether you've already, um, you know, kind of mastered these basic uh, equations. You might want to pause the video and give these um, problems a try. Okay, so x plus 2 equals 9. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. And we get x equals 7. That was our one step to solve this equation. Okay, pretty easy, pretty basic. So hopefully most of you... Uh, got this and totally understand why um, the solution is 7 and understand inverse operations. Now the next one is a two-step equation. The first thing I'm going to do is add 5 to both sides. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and add down. I'm going to get 3x equals 15. And then my second step is I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. And then I'm going to get x equals 5. Okay, so if you got these both of these equations correct and you understand them and there's no problems, then you're really, really um, you're ready to take on multiple step equations because multi-step equations are essentially just a series of one and two step equations all kind of wrapped up uh, into one equation. Now the two things you're going to need to solve a multi-step equation are one, you're already going to have to know how to solve these one and two step equations as we already talked about. And the second thing is you need a kind of a general um, set of directions, a, a general process. And that was, that's what this is here. Okay, so you might want to go and write this down and put this in your notes. And then we'll actually take a look at a couple examples and see how to apply this procedure. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to apply the distributive property when you see two parentheses and a number outside of it. And I'll show you here in an example what I'm talking about. Then next, you're going to combine like terms on each side of the equation. Okay, then you're going to move on and you're going to put all the variable terms on the left hand side of the equation and all the numbers on the right hand side using addition and subtraction inverse operations. Remember, we want what we're trying to do when you solve a, a, uh, in a when you're solving an equation is to get all those variables on the left and all the numbers on the right. Okay, so that's what we're talking about in step three. Then lastly, after step three, what you're going to be left with is a basic one step equation. So you're just going to solve that basic equation and you'll get your solution to your multi-step equation. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Okay, so first thing is we're going to go ahead and apply the distributive property when we see parentheses. And we see parentheses with a number outside of it. So in other words, this is a distributive property situation. Okay, so you have three parentheses y plus two. Now let me emphasize the distributive property because Oftentimes, when students struggle with these multi-step equations, it's because they don't really understand the distributive property. So go back and review uh, the distributive property if you need to do that. Okay, if you're if you you know when you're doing these problems and you're seeing that you're getting them wrong because of the distributive property, obviously that's an area you want to go back and review. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply the distributive property. So I got three times y plus two plus y equals negative fourteen. So that's going to be three times y. Okay, this is the uh, the distributive property plus 3 times 2 which is 6 plus y equals negative 14. Okay so notice how I rewrote the equation right underneath it but this time I used uh, uh, the distributive property to rewrite it. Okay so that's step 1. Okay step 2 is to look for opportunities to combine any like terms. Okay on either side of the equation. So we want to look at the left-hand side independent of the right-hand side and just look for like terms. Okay, so do we see any like terms here? Well, 3y and y 
are like terms. So we want to combine them. Okay. So 3y plus y will give us 4y plus 6 equals negative 14. Okay. So if you notice here, what I'm doing is I'm rewriting the equation over and over again, but each time I rewrite it, I'm making it simpler. Okay, that's the whole idea behind solving these multiple step equations, and you're showing all your work. Okay, so what I did there was I combined like terms, okay, on either side of the equation. On this, in this case, it was only like terms on the left hand side. So next, okay, I'm going to move all my variable terms to the left hand side. So if I look here, my variable term is already on the left hand side. There are no more variable terms, but I also have to move all my numbers to the right hand side. And I'm going to use addition and subtraction inverse operations, inverse operations to, do, uh, to do that. So here I have a 6. I don't want that 6 there. I need to get that 6 over to the right hand side with that negative 14. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. Now at this point, this is a simple two-step equation. Okay, so hopefully um, you've noticed that 4y plus 6 equals negative 14. Really at this point forward, you can go ahead and just take the steps to solve a two-step equation and uh, get your solution. But we're just going to go ahead and follow this general procedure that I gave you. So subtracting 6 from both sides, I get 4y equals negative 20. Okay, and then I'm left with this basic equation. So I'm going to go ahead and solve that. 4y equals negative 20 is a basic equation. So I'm simply going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 4 and I get y equals negative 5. Okay, so that's it. This is how you solve a multiple step equation. You're going to use these steps as a general guideline and just kind of walk it through. But notice the way I'm working. Okay, nice and neat. I'm showing all my work and I'm essentially rewriting the equation simpler every time until I get to the most simplest form of that equation, which is the solution. Y equals negative 5 is the simplest form of this equation right up here. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and try another problem. So here is our procedure again. So the first thing is I'm going to apply the distributive property when we see parentheses. So in this case, do we see any parentheses, any um, situation where we have to apply the distributive property? No. Okay, so you're not always going to have to, to do these steps. It's, you'll, you'll do them if you, um, in fact, uh, see them in your multiple step equation. So that's done. So now the second thing is I'm going to combine like terms on each side of the equation. So I'm looking on the left hand side, I got 2x minus 10. There's nothing to do there. On the right hand side, I have 12 plus 4x minus x. So these two are like terms. So let's go ahead and combine those. So I'm going to rewrite the equation, 2x minus 10 equals 12 plus, now you've got to know how to combine like terms. Another area, if you're weak in, you want to review. So 4x minus 1x is going to be 3x. Okay. Our next step is we're going to move all the variable terms to the left-hand side. Okay, so therefore this 3x, I've got to move over to the left-hand side. And then I'm going to have to move all my numbers to the right-hand side. So this negative 10, I'm going to have to move to the right-hand side. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and handle the 3x first. Let's get that over to the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 3x on the right-hand side here. Okay, but I also have to subtract 3x on the left-hand side. And notice how I'm um, lining up my variable terms. Okay, so rewriting this equation, I'm going to get negative 1x minus 10 equals 12. Okay, but now I still have to take care of my number. I have to move it all to the right hand side. So I'm going to add 10 to both sides of the equation. Okay, these are just inverse operations. We talked about this way back in one step equations, how to move numbers or variable terms to the left or right hand side. Okay, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and add 10 to both sides of the equation. I'm going to get negative 1x equals 22. All right, so I'm left with a basic one-step equation. So, so to solve for x, all I got to do is divide negative 1 by both sides of the equation. I get x is equal to negative 22. And that's it. Okay, so once again, you know, you use this uh, procedure as a general guideline. Can not every single step is going to apply and every step is going to be a little bit different than um, maybe uh, the, your previous problem that you did. But 
if you use this as in, in kind of like step-by-step -step order, you should have no problem solving these uh, multiple step equations. Of course, you want to practice this, then after a while, it's just going to be kind of, kind of become um, second nature. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So in review, the key to solving these um, multiple step equations is to master the one it's two step equations. Okay, you have to have that down before you tackle multi-step equations. You also really have to be um, an expert at the distributor property, and you have to know how to combine like terms. But if you know how to, if you know how to do all three of these things, then you'll know how to um, to handle these multiple step equation problems. Okay, so you definitely want to practice this. Um, keep working hard. We'll see you soon.